Today I will be showing you guys how to install SKSC the best way in 2023 using Mod Organizer and Root Builder. First off, you need to go to skc.silverlock.org. You'll notice a download section. In this download section, you'll see different versions for every single type of Skyrim build. You can see that the two main builds is Anniversary or Special Edition. If you don't know which version to choose, and you're running the latest version of Skyrim installed on Steam, then you're going to want to choose the current Anniversary Edition build 2.2.3 and download this file. If you know what you're doing and you want to downgrade your game, you can choose the Special Edition build. I will be going with the current Anniversary Edition build because this is the latest build on Steam even if you do not own Anniversary Edition content. So click Download 7-zip file. The next thing we'll be installing is called Root Builder for MO2. Now before you click off, because this is not like your standard tutorial for SKSC or this might be a little daunting, this is a very good plugin for keeping your files clean and it's a super easy install. What Root Builder does essentially is allow you to manage certain files that you were not able to do in standard MO2. These files are EMB, EMB presets, SKSC. This is really good because it allows you to keep your base Skyrim folder clean and anytime you want to say downgrade your game, you don't need to reinstall SKSC. Instead, you could have two versions, one disabled and one enabled for your certain profiles. Now to install Root Builder, we're going to go to Files, Manual Download and do the slow download. Next, we want to open Mod Organizer. Once you open Mod Organizer 2, you're going to want to go to the file icon, click Open MO2 Plugin Folder. From here, you're going to want to open here, and you're going to want to open the Root Builder zip file that we download. Now, you can use any zip program that you want. I'm personally using WinRAR, but it does not matter. You're going to just drag this Root Builder folder straight into the plugin, and that is it. That is Root Builder installed. So now we're going to install SKSC. So right click, memo to create empty mod. Call this empty mod Skyrim script extender. Ignore the red X, it will fix that later. Next up, open an explorer and then in here we're going to have to create a folder called root. This is part of root builder. Now open up the SKSC zip file and use open with whatever program. Go inside and you can see that there's a lot of files in here, but we'll go slowly. First off, open up data folder and drag the scripts folder into the Skyrim script extender folder. Next up, go back to the zip file and you'll notice a loader.exe and a DLL file. Those are the other two files that we'll need. These files will need to be placed inside the root folder. So place them into your root folder. Now that you've placed them inside this root folder, you're going to either want to remember this directory or you can copy and paste it if you're in Windows 10. So I copy and paste this. This is going to be important for what we're about to do. Next up, where the executable for Skyrim Special Edition and Mod Organizer, you want to click in there. You want to go to Edit. From here, you're going to want to Add from File. And we want to find the SKSC loader. Since we copy and pasted it, we can go directly to the directory and click SKSC Loader. You're going to want to open that. And you're going to want to rename this Skyrim Script Extender. You can name it whatever you want, but this is just a good way to remember. I like to increase the priority, well, like in the list, so it's number one. And from here, what we have to do next is enable Skyrim Script Extender and right click and ignore missing data. Now that you've done this, you can now launch the game and see whether it works. Now before you do anything, I would recommend restarting MO2. And once MO2 has restarted, I would make sure your selection is Skyrim Script Extender and run it. You will always have to run this whenever you are using SKSE mods. Now that we load it into the game, all we have to do is open up the console. That is open with the tilde key, which you can see on screen. And what you're going to want to type in the console is SKSE. A version should pop up and if a version pops up that means you have installed it correctly and there you go you have successfully installed skse now if you guys want me to make more tutorials on how to install enb presets using root builder then i would be glad 
But besides that, leave any questions or if you're having any issues below. And I don't like to say this, but like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.